SpaceX continues to prepare for Starship's upcoming orbital missions. I'll explain what's to be expected. Falcon 9 places 105 satellites into orbit. More launches are coming this month, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. As we patiently wait for the FAA to release their final environmental assessment of Starship's Boca Chica site on February 28th, SpaceX continues to behave like everything is going to work out in their favor. On Tuesday's video, we covered the stress test the company is putting Starship's orbital launch tower through, hanging giant deflated water balloons from its rocket-catching arms to prepare to simulate the mass of stacking Starships and boosters on the launch table. Since then, the sacks were filled and more were added as further testing was conducted raising them almost all the way to the top of the tower and lowering them at various speeds, appearing to slightly bend the arms or stretch the cable holding up the carriage. Either way, in the case of catching giant rockets, a little flexibility is important. Those bags were removed yesterday. SpaceX has scheduled some lengthy road closures from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. next week. Over the next month and a half, it is expected that the tower will be completed and tested enough to accomplish the task of stacking and launching Starship on top of its super heavy booster for its first orbital missions. In fact, SpaceX recently told the FCC that so long as the FAA gives them the green light, they plan on launching a Starship to orbit with Starlink satellites on board in March. And since Starship 20 will be the guinea pig for the first orbital test flight without payload on board, a later Starship will be outfitted to handle this first Starlink mission sometime shortly after. Perhaps SN24 with Booster 7 will be assigned to the job, since those are the stages receiving the next major upgrades Elon recently mentioned, but that's purely speculation. Regardless of what vehicle receives the plastic surgery needed to smile wide enough for payload deployment, we can assume SpaceX is readying for multiple Starship Super Heavy launches in the months to come. Maybe even the first two in the month of March. But a lot would have to go right in order for that to happen, not only with the FAA, but with the first mission itself. So I wouldn't bet any money on it. SpaceX did just post a job listing for a Starship meteorologist in Brownsville, Texas to generate rocket launch forecasts, which is just another move that shows things are getting super serial. I am super, super serial. If the FAA does happen to determine that a new EIS needs completed prior to any orbital attempts, SpaceX will have to wait to launch Starship from their Florida site no earlier than this summer. Of course, so long as that infrastructure and environmental assessment can be completed before then. Moving right along, on Thursday morning, SpaceX launched their third dedicated rideshare mission, Transporter 3, out of Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida, carrying 105 customer CubeSats, nanosats, and the like on a southern trajectory to sun-synchronous orbit. Check out the ground tracking of stage separation. The first stage used its cold nitrogen thrusters to flip over before boosting back toward the coast. Yes! That's awesome! so it can make a rare and visually unimpeded touchdown at landing zone one. There's a view on the right-hand side. Stage two in terminal guidance. Of the landing back at landing zone one. About an hour later, the second stage performed a short two-second burn and over the course of 30 minutes, successfully deployed all the satellites. However, since coverage was limited as the upper stage flew over regions of the world, these were the only visuals provided. SpaceX is expected to launch a handful of Falcon rockets this month. Starlink is on deck for Monday the 17th. A shortfall of Gravitas was spotted leaving port to support the mission during yesterday's launch, and CSG-2 is on the books for January 24th. Then maybe another Starlink launch, but we'll see. All subject to change, of course. And now it's time for today's Honorable Mention. We're checking back in with the James Webb Space Telescope, launched on Christmas Day atop of an Arian 5 rocket to provide humanity with images of the universe using its lens that's 100 times more powerful than Hubble's. Since it was last featured as our honorable mention a couple weeks ago, the giant spacecraft has finally finished unfolding itself like origami, deploying all of its major components which included the trap door or aft deployable instrument radiator, a small secondary mirror attached to a giant tripod, which is no small feat, and both wings of the primary mirror were also deployed and locked into place. This mirror comprises of 18 smaller mirrors and NASA will soon begin moving each of them as well as their secondary mirror in preparation for alignment. But before that happens, the telescope will spend the next five months cooling down and calibrating each of its four scientific instruments. Only then will James Webb take its first images. 
Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for checking in. You can support the channel on Locals to get access to more eccentric content, and at the same time fight big tech censorship. Link in the description. Do have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.